What's up guys, today we're going to be selling these sneakers using eBay's authenticity guarantee. First things first, if you haven't sold shoes on eBay before or don't have an account for that matter, you need to start fresh by creating an eBay account. Make sure you enter all of the correct personal information, your banking information, card information, all of that. You want to make sure that you have access to this account at all times. Once you've signed up and you've input all of your accurate information, you're ready to start listing. Now keep in mind, shoes $150 or more, if you do have an eBay store, your final fee is going to be 7%. If you do not have an eBay store, your final fee is going to be 8%. For shoes under $150, those fees are going to raise to 13.25% for non-store owners and 12.35% for store owners. Shoes listed for $75 and above, whether they're pre-owned or brand new, qualify for eBay authenticity guarantee. eBay will, of course, provide the seller with a free label. The buyer, however, has to pay $14.95 for these shoes to ship to them. This also forces the seller into a shorter handling time of max three days, but this can be a good thing as well because the buyer is going to get the shoes in their hands much more quickly. Whenever I create this listing, I wanna look up the comps. It's simple. I'm gonna look at the style code on the inside of the tag of this shoe. For these Air Maxes, it's 319986-039. That style code's gonna pop up active listings for this same exact pair of shoes. I can filter and go over to sold listings, but it's been a while since this pair of shoes has came out so I don't think we're going to see a bunch and we won't. I'm going to use a pre-owned active listing. Instead of starting from scratch just use the listing that somebody else has already done for you. They've already done most of the work so why start over? Now of course I'm going to have to tweak this listing but if I scroll down I can click sell one like this. I can change the description to the size of the pair that I'm selling and of course I need to input the condition which in this case is new without box. Change that shoe size again. I will also make sure that I put in the description that these are are in fact a women's size run and add a note for the buyer that they are again new without box on to the pricing like I said you have to be $75 and above to qualify for this free label from eBay. I typically only do buy it now. I'm gonna price these at $99.99 and hit done. After you do this, it's automatically going to tell you that the item is eligible for the eBay authenticity guarantee. Like I said, your handling time is going to be a max three business days, but you can go ahead and require immediate payment. After this, the only thing left is to take your photos. When you're taking your photos, you wanna get all of the right angles. eBay even shows examples of the photos that you should be taking. If you do have a box, make sure you get a picture of the box label and the box condition as well. Once you're done snapping your pictures, they should look like this. At this point, you're finished with your entire listing. All you have to do is click list your item at the bottom and it will show you that your listing is active. Once your listing sells, you'll get notified and it's as simple as hopping onto that listing and clicking get free shipping label. You're gonna notice some weird lines on the shipping label, whether that be characters on the first or the third line, don't edit it. Keep those the same on the shipping label. This is for the eBay authentication center. All you have to do at this point is click get free shipping label, print the label, and attach it to your package. Now these shoes do not have a box, but since they're high enough value for me to ship them to the eBay authentication center, I'm going to find a box that fits them, package them in there, and put my label on top. Make sure you print that packing slip as well. The packing slip goes inside of the box, your label obviously goes on the outside of the box. I found a box that the shoes will fit in. Just happen to have some bubble wrap there too. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap them in. Here's my packing slip. That is going to go inside of the box with the shoes. And of course the eBay label is gonna go right here on the outside of the box. I'm gonna tape these up nice and secure and then drop them off at FedEx. Since the eBay label is provided to you, no need to measure the package, no need to weigh it. All there's left to do is drop them off at a FedEx location. Once your shoes are authenticated by eBay, they will make their way to the end consumer and there's nothing left for you to do. All you have to do is sit back and collect your money. If you're curious about the fees that are associated with your sale, you can look at that in your activity. Just click on the item that you sold and click on the fee breakdown. That way you can see whether or not it's worth it for you to get an eBay store and lower your seller fees. If you need boxes or shipping supplies for your sneakers make sure you check out my description below i have everything sizes and all that you need to ship shoes these are the exact same boxes that i use and they fit just about any size sneaker check out my other tutorials on the channel on how to sell sneakers if you have any questions about ebay authentication or just selling sneakers in general drop those in the comments below or hit me up on ig the handle is the same at all ab sneakers again thank you guys for watching and do not forget this is all about sneakers